Oh, welcome. Thanks so much. Come in. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. So, what can I get for you? Tea, coffee, what would you like? Thanks, but I'm fine. I'd just like to start talking about what you know. I told you on the phone, but you still insist on not believing me. There is nothing that I can tell you now. But then you agreed to talk to me. I accepted because I wanted to tell you. You are on the wrong track now. Meltem's wrong. She misleads you, the media, everyone. Listen, there's no reason for you to be scared of the Asarans. And why would I be scared? I'm not doing anything wrong, and they haven't as far as I know. Now we are alone. I'm at my house. There's no pressure on me. I don't work for them now. We have no ties. If there were really something like you said, why wouldn't I say? They've made you scared. It's obvious. And why say that? Because of the lies that girl's telling you? She's obsessed with the Asarans. Uh-uh. Fatma Ghul is not a liar, madam. Those boys aren't liars either, sir. I practically raised Erdogan and Salim. I love them as if they were my own. You only know what you were told about them, but I raised them. And I'm telling you all I know. I know them as well as their mothers probably do. I don't know how they scared you, but now you have become part of their crime by acting like this. My granddaughter. You go ahead, I'll wait. You don't need to wait, I think, because I don't have anything else to say to you now. I've spent many years with the Yasserans, and they are my family. There aren't any bad people in my family. And please don't force me to talk against them ever again. I only want to learn the truth from you, is all. Well, I know my own truth. It would be better if you tried to learn Fatma Ghul's truth instead of disturbing me here. Well, I'm not convinced, Mrs. Yadigar. I will not let go of this. If you keep disturbing me, I will make a complaint. I'm sure you will do that. You called me because you wanted to tell me I'm on the wrong track. But I have to tell you the same thing as well. You were on the wrong track too, Mrs. Yadigar. And if you want me to come back, well, you know how to reach me. Goodbye, Mr. Kadir. Have a good day. Have a good day. That was very good. And you were absolutely right about everything, Yadigar. Yes, we're a family. You know what they say. Don't let it out of this room at all. It is about the family, and it should stay in the family. Yadigar. What now? <sighs> My son's the one who made the mistake. No matter what he did, he's still my son. My son. Well, you know, how hard it is to raise them all. We raise them with hopes. Who wants their children to be so bad? Who wants them to bring shame? Oh, but it is life. We don't know what life will bring, to us or to them. We just live and we see many things while we live life. So, could you say, go to hell to your own child if she gets involved in a crime? Well, neither could I, Yadigar. They acted earlier than we did. So she didn't talk? No. I don't know how they found out, but they either scared that woman to have her keep her mouth shut, or maybe they even paid her off. Besides, she's changed her tune. She said she was completely on their side. Allah knows what to do to them anymore. I'm going to the office now. We'll talk in the evening. Okay, fine. See you soon. What happened? She didn't talk. Oh, she didn't talk. Listen, I'm your life insurance. I'm your retirement. Also, I'm the security for your daughter and her husband as well. 
they are going to live a comfortable life. You won't be a burden to anyone. You'll live exactly as you've always wanted. And so, these are all my wonderful promises to you. I won't talk. I promise you. So, let's assume that none of this ever took place. Do you understand? <laughs>